All right, hi everyone. Today I'm going to talk about Hashimoto's and how it's really a more predominant thing than what you think um, as far as women go. And I was diagnosed about a year and a half ago and totally shocked to find out that I had an autoimmune disease when I thought I was doing all the right things. So here are some things that really you can do to prevent um, an autoimmune, especially when it comes to your thyroid, which I'm going to talk about today how it controls everything in your body. So some things you can do to prevent is, of course, a healthy diet. We're always going to tell you to have a healthy diet, which I thought I did. Um, but really, when I really looked at what I was eating, it wasn't as clean as what I thought. So maintaining that and really look at your nutrients like selenium and don't be fooled by iodine. You can get too much or too little of iodine, so I always recommend you working with a doctor or even better, a functional medicine doctor. And stress, manage stress. We've had a lot of things happen in the last couple of years with moving and just teenagers in general, and I would say I probably wasn't the best to manage my stress. Another thing is to get efficient sleep. Like, I would say that's probably one. I am um, a good sleeper and I stay asleep and um, I don't wake up in the middle of the night, so I'm so very thankful. But with little babies, I know it's super hard, but trying to get that sleep and having a sleep pattern. So those are some of the habits that I have um, progressively worked on over the last year and a half is my sleep. And of course, exercising regularly. I try to be more intentional. I thought I was always like, oh, I know how to exercise. I know how to get in shape. Um, but actually being more intentional and weights are your friend. And I've learned that too. And consider, of course, your toxins and your gut health. I think gut health too. Um, I had H. pylori through all of this too. And it was really like an eye opener to, to find that out and how much um, that really affects everything you do. Your sleep, your eat, your hormones, everything it really comes down to your gut health. Um, health. So also just monitor your thyroid. I think it's always a good um, thing to do is just make sure that you have somebody who's watching over you, who you have somebody that knows how to test and that knows what numbers to look for. I think that is so, so important to trust your doctor. So we're going to talk about thyroid. I'm going to talk about some of the things I gave up. One of the number one things I gave up was perfume because where do we spray perfume? We spray it right here on our thyroid and there's so many toxic chemicals and perfume and it took us 10 years to debunk the whole fragrance um, category and I'm so excited that Beauty Counter just launched this this week. We have five fragrances that we came out with. Some are musky, some are not. Um, some are just beautiful scents that are luxurious and they don't really take over your um, senses. It's just a beautiful, beautiful scent that you will absolutely love. All right, so I'm going to go through them. I'm going to just, um, tell you a little bit more about them and how they work and why we came up with these three and how they are just so, so neat. And um, so it comes in full size. So you can get the full size for $96 and a little bit goes a long, long ways. Or you can get um, a sample of it, which is like a rollerball for $35. So either one works great. It's just a matter of which one you want to try. Maybe you want to try a little bit before you actually invest into it. Okay. So the first one is the sun spill. So that if you like citrus and you like something that is, um, like a summer golden, um, it's just uplifting, a lift uplifting, huh, grapefruit, neroli, jasmine smells so, so good. And it's just like a, a, refreshing. It doesn't smell like vanilla. It doesn't smell like roses. It's just this whole little scent is called Sunspell. Okay. Then the next one we're going to go with is Second Skin. So Second Skin is a little bit of a lily in a valley. This is your vanilla if you love that vanilla scent and it has sandalwood. So it has a great combination between both the vanilla and the sandalwood. And it's just like a really quiet, luxuriously floral scent, um, layers of amber, sweet citrus, and it just, it just smells like beautiful white jasmine, silky vanilla. So this is a really fun, refreshing scent as well. All right. So now next I'm going to talk about our hyper rose. This is probably one of the most popular one when I, I took this out during volleyball. 
<laughs> and everybody's like, oh, I like that one. So Hyper Rose is a really fun, it's like a soft rose um, experience. It's blooming, it's um, like Turkish rose, gardenian. It just feels like you just stepped into a bed of roses and this is just a really fun scent as well. All right, so miles away, we're gonna talk about this. I love them all, by the way. I think my favorite are the Sun Spill and the last one I'm gonna talk about. Miles Away is more like your bergamot, their chamomile, your sandalwood. Wood. So this would probably be a little bit more if you like a musky smell. If you have men in your life, this would be a fun one to um, have for them as well. So it's just that warm blend, blend of cedarwood, sandalwood, um, Jupiter berry, um, infused with jasmine, and it's calming. So if you're looking for a restorative, Miles Away is that one. So one of my favorites, which I was actually very shocked, is the Pacific Dreams. I love ocean. <laughs> I can't help it, right? So this is um, like a Pacific Dreams is bergamot, sparkling lemon, and marine accord. So it's like an elevated um, jasmine crisp musk and grounded in cedar wood. So it's a whole different smell. I've never really smelled this one before, um, this kind of a scent before, and I absolutely love it. So these are all clean. You can spray them right on your thyroid. You can spray them on your chest. You can use them on your hands. I love to spray them in my hair. I think it smells really good in hair as well. So you can get the full size for 96 or we have these cute little roller balls for 35 if you just want to try like a little travel size or we do have um, five cents and a little mini travel size too that you can um, able to get to. So just make sure you take care of your thyroid, you take care of yourself, and it's always good to really, you know, less stress, more sleep, work out, eat well, just everything we've heard over the last several, re several years and just happy, healthy, and that's all what's important. So reach out to me if you have any questions and if you want some scents or we have a quiz, I will post in the comments, but subscribe to my channel, like it, and follow along for some more fun videos I'll be posting in the new future.